Hello. In this video, I'm going to show you some exercise to strengthen your lower leg and mobilize your ankle. And if you have any knee problems or even low back and hip problems, this exercise might help you and also help to increase your blood circulation. All right, let's get started. Before you start, you need a chair and fold a towel or cushion, something thick and maybe a strap like this. If you don't have a strap band, you can use a towel, long towel or dog leash, belt, anything like long, all right? So let's get started with the first exercise. So you have the cushion or thick towel, place underneath your knees, make sure it's even, and lay all the way down. You can also support your neck if you feel like your neck is arching. Relax your arms by your side. Starting with your point and flex both ankles for 10 times. Point, flex, point, flex. Try to relax the rest of the body. Just moving your ankles. Point and flex, point and flex. Seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now we're gonna circle out to side, both foot, both feet. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then rotate the opposite direction. Your heel bones on the floor. You're rotating your ankles. Try to point your toes and flex your toes. Three more, two more, and last one. All right, we move. The towel on the side. Now we're going to grab the band or whatever you have nice and long. You're going to bend one knee and then opposite leg is going to come up and place the, make a, you, can, you can make a little loop and place the strap band right underneath the ball of the foot. All right. And move your knee, align with your opposite knee. Relax your arms. Try to hold the band toward the end, but make sure your arms relax. I'm gonna hold it about 30 seconds here. Stay relaxed with your breath and keep tightening up your thighs and flex your foot. This is not just stretching your calf, but also aligning your pelvis, your spine, and your arms down, relax your neck, and just stay with your deep breath. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. All right, second position is gonna, we're gonna lift the leg up and move the band a little bit more toward the heel or whatever you're using it. Keep your knee as straight as you can and relax your arms. Maybe your leg is gonna be low because your hamstring's tight, it's fine. The more important, your knee's straight. And again, we're holding here about 30 seconds. Inhale, exhale. It's gonna stretch your hamstring, scalps, Align the pelvis spine and improve your blood flow in the lower leg. And one more breath, inhale and exhale. All right, we're switching leg, compare your sides, see if the side is tighter. Put under the ball of the foot, align your knee joints, your feet are separated. Relax your shoulders, flex your foot and holding 30 seconds. Make sure your chin tuck toward the collarbone. If you cannot keep your neck straight, place a towel or another cushion underneath your head. And staying with your belly breathing, inhale and exhale. All right, we are moving to the second position. The straps all the way toward the heel, arch of the foot, knee straight. Flex your foot, relax your arms, and holding. And you can watch the video again by your staff. You can also do it longer if you need more release. You can hold it up to one minute. One more breath, inhale, and exhale. All right, our next exercise called cross crawling. This is not just uh, for your lower leg, but the entire body is gonna be working together. First, relax everything down. Make your hands, um, keep, your, keep your hands by your side. You're gonna lift opposite arm, opposite leg, nice and firm. 
with your knee bent and your arm straight. And you're exhaling every time you lift, inhaling lower down. You're not squeezing your abs here. You're just relaxing your abs and back, but keeping your arms and legs firm. When you bend your knee, make sure your shin bone parallel to the floor and arms straight. It's gonna improve your blood flow in the whole entire body, wakes you up. Align your pelvis and lengthen your spine. And mobilize your shoulders and hip. So there's so much going on with this exercise here. Being mindful and really move your arms straight and knees, toes facing forward and relax your back and abs. And exhale. As you lift, inhale lower. You're gonna go one more each side. And last one. Ideally, you can do it up to 20 to 40 times. All right, our next exercise, buttock squeeze. This one you won't see much. So feet flat, knees parallel to each other. Very important, you're in right alignment with your spine straight. Pelvic bones settle on the floor. Relax your arms. Try to squeeze your buttocks. You won't see so much, but I'm squeezing my buttocks and I'm releasing. Squeezing and releasing. Squeezing and releasing. And you squeeze this, try not to squeeze your abs, but squeeze on your glutes. Strengthen the buttock, really isolating your gluteal muscles. So you're now squeezing your thighs or your pelvic floor or your abs. Just your butt. You can start as few as 10 and go up to 20 repetition as you get better. All right, one more. That's it. We're going to open the legs a little bit wider than the hip distance and open your arms as wide as you can. Start rotating side to side. Every rotation, you're thinking about your outer knee and inner knee pressing into the floor and press the back of the shoulders into the floor, open your chest and soft feet. Again, this is improving the blood flow in the whole body, mobilizing your pelvis and lower back, your lower back issues, pelvic pain, also will help you. But any exercise you're doing, you're feeling any pain, sharp pain, always stop this exercise, just the standard exercises. If you need something very specific, that you really need to work with a therapist. All right, last one. And that's it. All right, from here, we're gonna turn around and then use the chair. So grab a chair, something chair that has a end like this, so you can dangle your legs. And you can also use a towel too. So. I'm gonna get as close as you can to the chair. If the chair is too low, you might need to elevate your leg legs a little bit to your, uh, with the towel. So very important, your knees align with your hip and your knees align with your ankles. So again, the chair shouldn't be too low and too high. So adjust this and you get closer, relaxing your arms. <laughs> Looks like you won't be doing here so much, but it's really lengthening the spine, settling down into the floor, realigning your pelvis and getting good blood circulation here as your legs are slightly elevated. Chin tuck. We can stay here up to five minutes for wait for the response that your body really settling down. The gravity pulls you down. Your spine is gonna lengthen, your ribs gonna open up, and your chest, shoulders gonna open up. And we're staying with the breath. I am just gonna go stay here only one minute, but again, you can stay up to five minutes to feel that nice respond that your body lengthening on the floor, your pelvis settling down into the floor, your chest and shoulders opens up. And blood circulation in the whole body moving. We 
we just start feeling the gravity pulls you down the back of your ribs back of your pelvis settling down into the floor or lengthening the spine the back of your shoulders grounding on the floor All right, one more breath, inhale and exhale. And slowly we turn on the side, come on your bottom. All right, these are a few exercises to help to strengthen your lower leg, your ankle mobility and align your pelvis in your lower back and improve your blood circulation in the whole body.